Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and we'll see what is coming up for you over the next four weeks or so. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate, of course. So let's take a look at your first card. And the first card here is Roots. A time of darkness. Delve deep and explore who you really are. What are you hiding? Contemplate depression. Who are you? Reconsider all core decisions. Journey within. You are navigating the underworld dormancy there is light at the end of the tunnel so this means there's going to be a change this month it means the change is going to be uplifting from where you are currently now this might resonate in your business or work life it might be a personal situation where you know that it's time to come out of darkness and you might be contemplating things maybe you're contemplating family or your roots perhaps where you have come from, decisions that you have made in life. But this is necessary for your growth. I'm also seeing with this card that there is a need to put down roots, a need to secure yourself, secure yourself, build a solid foundation in some way. So see how that resonates for you. And your next card here is the tree trunk. So isn't this interesting that we have the symbolism of the roots and then the trunk. Honesty, humility. Set realistic goals as you journey this physical, tangible path in life. So set some realistic goals. That's important. Conscious living. Be aware. Be alert. Live in the now while striving for a better tomorrow. Being in the present moment is so important over the next month. The mundane world, so the physical life, what you do day to day is really important. Endurance. And shift one grain at a time and you can move mountains. So just one step at a time and you're going to move mountains. You're going to overcome the challenges or difficulties issues, blockages that you may see at the present time. So this is a wonderful message of overcoming, overcoming where you are in the situation that represents that darkness for you. So let's take a look at this deck and see what spirit would like to bring through. Yes, this one here, spirit family. Perhaps you have a family member in spirit and maybe they have crossed over recently. Maybe there's a parent-child dynamic here. That could be possible, but someone in spirit is around you. Very much so. You are a child of the universe and belong exactly where you are. Feel strong knowing you are an important part of this world. Without you, it would not be whole. There is a strong spiritual family you belong with. Feel for their energy every day. And so this might resonate for you. This card might resonate in terms of finding your spiritual paths, finding your spirit family, connecting to your guides and angels, perhaps finding groups, community of like-minded people. But I love this card because you are becoming and you will become connected to your spirit family. Looks like there's a new beginning on the horizon for you. A new beginning. You are moving into a place of complete knowing. Let go of the paddle and go with the flow of prosperity. Spirit is wanting and asking you to open up to this prosperity. New ideas are bubbling close to the surface. Open your mind and give them life. So there's no room for closed-mindedness. It's about expanded thinking. It is time to abandon all old belief patterns that no longer serve you. 
It's a reflection of about old belief patterns and things that no longer serve you. Clear those away. And make room for this beautiful new beginning. Okay, this one here is yours. Isolation. Perhaps you are feeling isolated at the moment. You have disconnected yourself from people and relationships. Maybe that's necessary at this time. Or maybe it's the place that you're wanting to come out from. That you're wanting to start to move from and a change to take place. Well, if that's the case, as soon, soon enough, this month, there's going to be this new beginning. There's going to be new connections, new connections with your spirit, family, or people that you're meant to meet along this life's journey. Communication with new people, perhaps, or maybe someone from your past, that is possible. Stay open to clear communication, clearing up disagreements, arguments, and not seeing eye to eye with open communication. Further discussion Clear communication or intention is needed. All right, let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit, angels and guides. Please bring through a message for Taurus. So we have beauty. Now, there may be a focus on your physical appearance that's possible perhaps you are beautifying yourself in some way or the space that you live in or some area of your life you're beautifying you're wanting all of the old things that don't serve you all of the toxicity negativity you're wanting that to be removed and you're going to have a clear intention toward that to allow beautiful abundance and beauty to flow through into your life And you're going to have the blessing of grace, that energy of going with the flow of not fighting, not resisting, letting go of old beliefs that no longer serve you, letting go of blocks that may be self-imposed mentally or emotionally. You have this blessing from spirit. All right, let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for... Taurus, please, spirit. We have a card there. I'm also going to say I feel that there may be someone called Grace or has Grace as part of their name of importance for you. The High Priestess. This is about intuition. It's about understanding your inner power your psychic abilities as well so there may be a development on that level over the next month or so connection with spirit going within connecting with your higher self and letting go of the the grasp that your lower self may have on you at the moment with some things the seven of swords there's going to be a change a positive change from a precarious situation or dangerous situation that you find yourself in and it might be that you really are needing to clear your space and release the energy that might be the negativity that might be around you. And you can do that through meditation, prayer, connecting with spirit. There might be some confusion mentally over something as well that you're needing to get clear and meditation will definitely help with that. The seven of wands. You're going to overcome whatever it is that is coming against you you're going to find the higher ground you're going to be successful in overcoming and the six of cups 
someone from your past perhaps may reach out to you or there may be reflection on a past relationship or things that you've said and done or just you in the past. There's nostalgia, reflection, history. The Six of Cups is also about children or the dynamic, the, the parent, um, mother, child or father, child dynamic. So that might be something of importance to you. And it's about friendships as well. So there may be a new opportunity coming in this month for friendships, new, new people, new beginnings. More harmony in the home environment as well, the Four of Wands. More harmony and balance coming to your home life where you live, your living situation, the people you live with. There's a celebration, an achievement that I'm also seeing here, and a stability, which I really like. There is a judgment. So you're making a judgment call. You are making a definite decision. You know you're not going to go back on this decision. It's final. And this looks like it's going to be for the better. You know that this is right for you. You're making the choice that's right for you. You're making a judgment call. This might also resonate. You might be in a situation this month where you're being judged or you're being evaluated. Maybe there's examinations or interview process or there might be something where someone is evaluating uh, you at your in your job or something like this as well. But if that's the case, it looks like there's going to be a favorable outcome because of the stability of the Four of Wands. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question that you would like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So you can check in with your intuition. Does this resonate for you or not at all? Maybe partially. You can trust your own intuition. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.